On the second day of his inaugural foreign trip, the U.S. president gathered with leaders from about 50 Muslim-majority countries as the Arab-Islamic American summit kicked off in Riyadh with its main focus on unity in the fight against terrorism. Trump told Muslim allies not to wait for the U.S. to help crush terror groups, urging them to eradicate extremists out of their country. A better future is only possible if your nations drive out the terrorists and drive out the extremists. Drive them out. Drive them out of your places of worship. Drive them out of your communities. Drive them out of your holy land. And drive them out of this earth. He also called on religious leaders to condemn attacks in the name of religion, but insisted that this is not a battle between different faiths. This is a battle between barbaric criminals who seek to obliterate human life and decent people, all in the name of religion. People that want to protect life and want to protect their religion. This is a battle between good and evil. Trump's speech was also aimed at easing concerns that the administration's policies deliberately discriminate against Muslims, as he had earlier pushed to temporarily ban people from various Muslim-majority countries from entering the U.S. Trump also singled out Iran as a key source of funding and support for militant groups in his speech. Until the Iranian regime is willing to be a partner for peace, all nations of countries, must work together to isolate Iran, deny it, funding for terrorism. Saudi Arabia is part of the U.S. president's first foreign tour that will take him next to Israel and the Palestinian territories, where he'll meet with both the Israeli and Palestinian leaders during the course of his two-day stop. Trump is reportedly trying to relaunch peace talks between the two leaders with the goal of reaching an agreement within a year.